I found out na active na ulit yung bank account na binigay nila sa akin. So, it means na nagpapatuloy pa rin sila sa panluloko ng mga tao o ng mga Christian na kagaya ko using the same bank. Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day I'm gonna make Hi everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel And I'd like to thank everyone who took the chance to watch my last video vlog And to my 29 subscribers Thank you so much kahit na 29 lang po kayo This means so much to me and I'll make sure you'll never regret subscribing to my channel Okay po, so ngayon magtatagalog at magi english ako because I felt the urgency for this um, video to reach the mass kasi po seryoso at cru napaka crucial po ang, ang isi-share ko ngayon sa inyo. So ito na po, magkukwento na po ako tungkol sa napaka pangipangilabot na uh, nangyari lately sa buhay ko while um, nasa malayo ako at nag-iisa. I know po na we are used to hearing scam stories like, like yung may nagtetext na nanalo ka raw ng 500,000 pesos mula sa Wawawin o kaya naman yung mga pabahay na galing sa Villar Foundation um, tapos nilalagyan pa sa text ng DTI permit para legit pakinggan. Pero what's common sa mga um, scam stories na ito ay yung fact na sobrang obvious po na scam talaga siya. Kasi una, imposible naman na manalo ka sa raffle draw na, raffle draw na hindi mo naman sinalihan. At pangalawa po, hindi lang naman kasi isa o dalawa yung nakakareceive ng ganitong text, kundi ang dami-daming tao po nakakareceive ng ganitong klaseng text. And almost the same content lang po. And ako po mismo, I tried receiving such kind of text na nanalo daw ako. So obviously, scam talaga siya. Um, but mine lately was a different story. I decided to share this scams, horrible scam story because I really found it alarming. Considering po the people behind this and the strategic plans that they do, at first po, I thought I was just dealing with one person, pero na-realize ko, imposible talaga. And sobrang galing talaga nila. And I know nga, this is not something they plan overnight. So, ito po, inanarate ina ko na po yung nangyari sa akin. Okay, so, February 29, 21, you have to know po na sa mga panahon na to, talagang napaka-hopeless ng life ko kasi nahiwalay po ako sa family ko and I'm stuck in a situation, in a job na hindi ko naman passion. Um, pero I have no choice but to continue kasi I am indebted to the company at that time. And inisip ko na lang na ginagawa ko to for the sake of my family. And by that time po, nag apply na rin po ako sa, sa, sa job na talagang gusto ko. So, yun nga, nag-aantay nag ako ng job placement for teaching. Two months na, pero still, wala pa rin akong nare-receive na update from uh, the teaching company. So, para bang walang kasiguraduhan. Um, so, sa mga panahon na yun, parang wala. Wala talagang life. Um, kulang na lang sabihin ko na, Lord, kailan ka ba dadating? Sana dadating ka na para matapos na paghirap ko. But, what happened next made my situation even worse. Kakatulog ko lang po sa gabi nang may biglang nag-message sa akin na matandang babae sa Instagram. Pero wala po kong mapapakita na screenshot ng usapan namin sa Instagram kasi hindi ko na foresee na magde-deactivate. Um, but as far as I, I can remember, ito po ang, ang, ang sinabi niya. So, babasahin ko lang po. Parang kailangan ko talaga ng notes. Sabi niya, um, Calvary greetings. My name is Felicia Wilson. As of now, I don't know how long I could live because I am in a bad, I mean bad health condition now. All, all of my life, I've, I've been serving God by putting up orphanages and helping those who are living in the streets as an evangelist with my husband. Uh, my husband passed away some years ago and we don't have children. Sabi niya, I am left with wealth from our savings and God showed me a vision to continue the, the vision of reaching out the poor. And ako raw, I was the one chosen by God to fulfill the mission dahil nga, ill state na po siya at di, di, na, niya kay, di na kaya ng katawan niya. And sabi niya, um, I know this seems so impossible the way I have reached you, um, but but sabi niya, um, we have a great God, a miracle working God. So ganon ganon yung sinasabi niya. And meron lang po akong isashare tungkol sa sarili ko. Um, I am a Christian. Three years na po since I committed and surrendered my life to Christ and understood the true meaning of the gospel of Jesus. Um, so kaya nga nung sinabi niya yun, sabi ko, grabe naman. Bakit sa lahat ako? And of all platforms, Instagram talaga. And by that time, nag-deactivate po ako ng Instagram ko kasi I've, I've went through depression din. And kaya nga, nag-Instagram nag -Instagram na lang ako. Tapos parang, hala, baka ano nga, baka, baka may something kasi nga, Instagram na yung ginagamit ko at dito siya nag-communicate nag, nag sa akin. When I thought about it, pagagising ko sa umaga, I realized na um, God is indeed 
a miracle working and a great God and He does things far beyond our imagination. So, naisip ko, why don't I give this a try? Nag-iwan kasi siya ng Gmail account niya. Um, so, ito po yung Gmail niya. ChristOurLord3562 at Gmail. Dot com. Sabi ko sa isip ko, talagang devoted ang devoted na Christian tong taong to. Kahit, kahit Gmail niya, it speaks about her faith kay Jesus. So, parang honestly, nakaka-relate po talaga ako kasi ganun din ako kahit nga yung password ko. Here's a brilliant thought po from the article that I read about scams. Sabi na, of all the ways that scammers can use to, til- to steal your money, experts agree na yung pinakamahirap na kalabanin o iwasan na scams are those that seek to turn your faith against you. So technically speaking, ito po ay tinatawag na affinity scam. I know this is not so familiar um, sa iba. So, explain ko po as much as I can. Um, affinity scam po ay kung saan yung, yung scammer nag establish siya ng um, similarity or commonness sa kanyang potential um, victim. So, once um, nandun na yung similarities, like for example, yung paniniwala mo or yung faith mo, nandun na, um, syempre, yung victim, parang um, parang makukuha, makukuha yung, yung trust niya and that's the time po na yung scammer magtitake advantage sa trust na nakuha niya sa potential victim niya. So, going back to my story, yun nga po, nag-email ako sa kanya kasi I'm so eager to know how God mysteriously connected her to me and bakit Instagram. February 22 po, nasa work po ako at this time. So, um, sa lunch break ko lang po, check yung phone ko. At when I opened my phone po, I received a mail from her and ang sobrang taas po. And she was sincerely narrating or sharing um, her story at babasahin ko po. So, babasahin ko po. Medyo mataas po siya. So, please bear with me lang po. Um, me telling the whole story is also um, important para po maintindihan nyo talaga kung anong po talagang nangyari. So, I'll start with, sabi niya, I'll start with a proper introduction of myself. My name is Felicia Wilson, a widow to late Mr. Silas Wilson. I am 73 years of age, suffering from stage 4 cancer. I am presently bedridden here at the hospital in London, United Kingdom, where I was transferred for intensive care and treatment. From medical indications, my condition is really deteriorating and it's obvious that I may not have much time left, according to the doctor's recent report, because the stage at which my cancer is now is very severe and sometimes it frightens me, especially especially when the pain gets unbearable. My late husband and I both grew up in a motherless orphan home in Scotland, and with God's permission, we both uh, we got married and moved up to London, United Kingdom, where we lived happily to the glory of God. We never had children of our own due to one medical problem or the other, and we accepted it because the Bible says in First Thessalonians chapter five verse eighteen. In every situation, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Since his death, I decided not to remarry or get a child outside my matrimonial home, even though I wish I had. It's, it is late now, you know, as age is no longer on my side. So I decided to dedicate my life to Christ as he died for me even before I ever existed. After I have been diagnosed of cancer and was about going to the hospital to be admitted and bedridden, I started um, giving out our properties and belongings to the homeless people on the street because they were no longer useful to me and I had no relations to inherit them. Presently, my medical bills are being taken care of by my health insurance company and the only wealth I still have is the 5510400 US dollars that was deposited at the bank as fixed deposit by my husband and I some few years ago. I have been thinking of what to do with this money since my illness, but haven't gotten a proper idea. My most fear is giving it to the wrong person, a very prayerful person, and it was when I was praying some days ago that the Lord revealed to me. I don't know if I should call it a dream or a vision, but I was told by the Holy Spirit that I should go into the world and bless the needy, orphans, and helpless with the wealth that Almighty God had used to bless I and my late husband. The vision seemed so confusing, and I was so bothered that I had a three days fasting and over it even though the hospital wasn't happy about it, that due to my condition and then i had another dream that was divinely interpreted to my understanding so now i decided to do as the lord has directed and i believe you are the one to help me accomplish this forget about the distance between us for with god all things are possible i wish you could be someone i can trust with all my heart to make this come to pass despite my prayers over you before i contacted you i know this is a lot to take in but i know the holy spirit who led me to you will give you the foresight to know that this is genuine and essentially important and it will be a miracle to the lives of those who will benefit from this. Do reply my email telling me more about yourself and your Christian life and know that God has a great reason for leading me to you and I will be grateful if you heed to the call of the Lord. Be blessed. Uh, nabasa natin na email ni Felicia. Ni Felicia. Um, parang um, 
parang na, nakaka-empathize talaga ako sa kanya. Kasi nga, yun nga, bedridden siya at 73 kasi nga may stage 4 cancer siya na sa London, UK. And I was just so amazed to hear um, a verse from her, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 8. Um, parang naano lang talaga ako, naawa lang ako at the same time. I appreciate the fact na kahit kahit na na bedridden na siya, ganun yung kapalaran niya na na may stage for cancer at siya na lang. Um, but still, hindi pa rin niya nakalimutan na magpasalamat kahit ganun sa, sa Diyos, kahit ganun yung situation niya. So parang parang na ano talaga ako, parang nadala ako. And also, I was so touched when she mentioned about praying before contacting me. Um, talagang hinihingi niya yung guidance ng Holy Spirit uh, if it's the right thing to contact me or not. And she has the knowledge of the Holy Spirit. And that I really appreciated so much. And she knows about fasting and prayer. So, yung bagay na kung saan I really lost control of my senses na is how my boyfriend's desire or vision to put up an orphanage, which also became mine, was in line with the, vis- the mission that God imparted her. So, I said, Wow, this could be God. So hearing all that from her, sobrang na-overwhelmed po talaga ako. And from that moment, I believe na Christian talaga to. And, and that she was sincere. So in short po, I started giving in my trust. And yun nga po, nag-re- nag-reply po ako tungkol sa journey ko as a Christian. And she replied, My beloved friend, thank you for replying my email and I, re- and I understand all that you said. I know that we both don't know each other, but the God we serve is the omnipotence and omniscience. And like the Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. So I am trusting you because the Lord said so. And we both know that God is never mistaken. Neither is he ever wrong. Initially, when I had a first dream, I prayed to God for a helper who would assist me in accomplishing this mission for God because I am presently bedridden here at the hospital. And as you know, there isn't much I can do from here. So in my second dream, God made me to to understand that he will lead me to someone worthy of this and that the person would be a total stranger. So I should go into the world and search that the Holy Spirit will bring, bring me to the person. At my present condition... At my present condition, I was confused on how I was going to go into the world and meet the stranger that the Lord wants to assist me in accomplishing his mission. So I prayed again some nights ago and then I decided to go onto Instagram and search randomly since Instagram has people from around the world. I got about 62 profiles and I prayed over them all and you know what's great? Among the profiles I picked, it was yours that the Lord vividly chose to distribute these funds as a sacrifice from me directed by the Almighty God to the world. I want you to see this as a means of you being committed to the Lord and this will make you closer to Him as well. And I'm very sure that He must certainly have a reason why He wants you to do this on His behalf and mine. Please, I want you to be strong and have faith in yourself and also remember that if God brings you to it, then He'll surely see you through it. And I know you can do it as I see you doing it right among everyone else. Hope I read from you soonest and make sure that you never forget me in your prayers as I believe miracles still do happen, but I am not afraid to die. If it is the will of God because this world is not our home, we are all just passing through. Our real home is in heaven, just like Jesus said in John chapter 14, verse 2. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, so I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Kindly get back to me via email and also make a prayer over this and you will feel the Holy Spirit leading you to this. God will not come down to call his own people. He will send someone to you and now he has sent me to you. God bless you and your household abundantly in his riches. Amen. So, yon po, di ba grabe? Um, please comment down below po kung ano yung... Ano kaya yung magiging reaction nyo kung nabasa nyo yun? So, di ba Sobrang, what? Talagang nakakapanindig balahibo um, when I read that mail from her. Kasi, parang sobrang, ang talino talaga. Ang, ang galing ng pagka, pagkabuo ng, ng, ng response niya sa akin. Kasi nagtanong ako, bakit paano ako kinunek ni Lord sa yo of all the people in the world and why Instagram? And she was she was so wise. Kasi sabi nga niya, totoo naman, Instagram has all people all around the world. Diba lang naman natin yun? And may, may, nal- may sinasabi pa siya tungkol sa characteristics ni Lord na God is omniscient and omnipotent. And, and that part na sinabi na, niya nga, she prayed for a helper for her mission by God. And Iko-connect ko lang po ito dahil nga sa situation ko at the time, parang sobrang nasa pinaka-lowest point ako ng life ko. I wanted to get out, I wanted to escape, but then wala akong magawa. 
January 1 po, nag-celebrate po ako ng Christmas and New Year alone. I made a declaration to God nga, God, I declare that you would send me a partner, Lord, or you will send me the right people, Lord, to help me get out of this situation. So, parang inisip mo na baka ito na yung prayer na sinasa or yung declaration na sinabi ko kay Lord and he heard my prayer so siya yung pinadala ko so I replied to her and I got her, her second message on this day Heavenly greetings to you my dearest in the Lord I want you to know that I really wish to speak to you through the phone but ever since I got transferred to the hospital here I haven't been able to make calls outside the country because my phone line doesn't have international calling and because of my ill state I didn't think it was necessary this is why I do all my communications via email, email and I do that using the hospital's desktop computer however I think that we can both plan and arrange for you to come visit me here at the hospital after I have had my money transferred to you. So when you come, so we can discuss about how the funds will be distributed. This mission of you helping me in distributing my fund, fund to the less privileged, needy, and our funds is the will of God. So I ask that you handle this mission with care and the fear of God. More so, I want you to try and send a picture of yourself to me so I always visualize you properly in my mind when I dream and when I pray. I don't know how to take a picture of my present state and attach it on this computer but I asked one of the workers here at the hospital to help me and so she did. I have a touch a picture of me in this email and I hope you find it. Everyone here is nice to me and they are very diligent at their work and they take good care of me. I will check my diary for the information you need to contact my lawyer for the release of my funds to you for the said purpose. I have informed my bank and lawyer about making you the beneficiary to my account with them. As to the source of the money, I must let you know that my husband was a great industrialist and at that time he retired. He sold of his investments and shares and we both decided to deposit the money in the bank as a fixed deposit over a period of time because we already had enough to live on. We were never interested in material things and so live only to magnify the name of the Lord. You and I were picked out of the whole population of the world. Not that we are the first to embark on such a journey, but because God wants to use you as a to use us as a vessel to bless his children who are in need and helpless. So I want you to say I am the chosen one because that's what we are. Please do not discuss this to anyone until my funds have been transferred to you. This is what the Lord instructed you to, due to security reasons. It's you and I for now. All we need is trust, honesty, faith, and obedience. I wait to hear from you and as always do keep me in your daily prayers. So she sent me a picture of her. Well, according to her, this is um, her picture. But... I'm pretty much sure she's just using this um, old woman here. Um, and the reason why I um, I decided to film this story because I want these people to be notified na ginagamit na pala yung mga mukha nila um, for this crime. And here is the second um, picture. And this is really a good trick kasi um, she involved another character just to put up to her story. So, ito pala, ito daw yung nurse na tumutulong nila dun sa hospital. And, parang ito rin yung nag assist sa kanya um, when it comes to computers, yung mga ganun. So, galing talaga. Okay, so the factor that got me from that email is um, her willingness to see me personally just to discuss uh, the mission that God imparted, imparted to her. So, ito na naman. So, yun nga, and I like the fact na uh, I like the fat, fact when she shared about the source of money and how not materialistic they are. So, because they just wanted to magnify the Lord. So, parang nakuha talaga nila ako doon. And um, the next message on the second day, February 21, um, this is where the whole thing gets to be super intense. As this is where she shared her bank details to me. So, um, ito po yung mga bank details na Dinisclose niya sa akin, depositor's name, batch number, secret question, answer, security code, name on account, account number, yung mga... Basta yung mga details para sa isang account. You know, alam naman natin yan. And she wants me to, uh, and she wants me to mail this information sa bank na Gateway Bank and mail them this information. And attach also is the certificate of her deposit. So as you can see po, ba ito yung certificate. Parang legit talaga siya tingnan. May signature pa. Tapos, yan. And may logo ng bank. Which is, the Gateway Bank. So, nung na-receive ko yung mga details na to, kinabahan talaga ako. So, um, what I did is, sinerge ko if meron talaga Gateway Bank and I found there's one. And, nung nakita ko yung logo, same po yung logo ng website ng Gateway Bank sa logo na nasa Certificate of Deposit niya. So, somehow, parang, totoo siya sa akin. Para sa akin, totoo siya. And this is one thing na na-miss ko talaga because it's easy to copy the logo. Pero, wala lang I lost my senses at that time na talaga kasi nakuha niya yung loob ko. 
So yun po. And because of that, I mailed, I emailed the details to the to the email account she sent me. Yun, maya-maya po may na-receive po akong response galing sa Gateway Bank daw. And ito po ipapakita ko po sa inyo. So ito po yung uh, message ng Gateway Bank. So, um, welcome to online banking. So, ito po, itong part na to, nung una ko tong nabasa, there's a, a logo a logo there, but when I found out about their um, their crime, pinanggal nila to. So, yan. Welcome to online banking, dear beneficiary. We received a mail from you and Mrs. Felicia Wilson and her authority, which was well understood. She has requested that you become her name next of keen beneficiary to her money of 5, 5, 5,510,400 US dollars deposited with us as a fixed deposit. Two processes comment on Mrs. Felicia Wilson's fixed deposit account of 5,510,400 United States dollars deposited with us over a decade ago. We have been instructed by her to follow this procedure through email due to her present ill state and distance, which doesn't enable her to come down to the bank to do to do this to do this in person. So we want you to know that this trans, trans ano ba yan? this transaction will be processed online and very com and every communication between you, Mrs. Felicia Wilson, her attorney bar barrister Sean Dawson and the bank will be transmitted online too via email. This will not be a complex transaction since the owner of the account has made this request personally and has instructed this in this action to proceed on her behalf and in her physical absence as long as all due proceeds are met. Right now, you are required to send to us the following details to fill out database and confirm you as the rightful name next of kin beneficiary to Mrs. Felicia Wilson's funds of blah 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 deposited with this honorable bank. We need you to forward to us. So, ito yung mga details na kinakilangan nila sa akin. Also, send the below information documents for legal attestation and confirmation. Details of her account she said she had given you. Copy of her certificate deposit. Tapos, may mga note copies sent to us the details. She requested blah, blah, blah. We will act towards here. And then, we look, we look forward to hear from you soonest. So, may mga ganito. ba? And my signature pa. Professor Miss. Ito, nagkamali lang talaga na sila dito. Hindi ko ito napansin. Dave Taylor, Chief Operation of Officer, Gateway Bank, PLC. Thanks for banking with us, copyright. So, may mga ganyan talaga sila. Kaya, it looks so legit to me. At ito rin, tinanggal na rin nila nung nalaman ko. They really made it look so legit. And my signatures, logo, text formatting pa silang nalalaman. At ito po, um, yung, yung, yung Gateway Bank na uh, staff na kausap ko, yung si Dave Taylor, something, I search him on Google and dumabas po siya. Um, dumabas po yung account niya sa LinkedIn and his line of work is also financial services. So, parang totoo talaga siya. So, fast track po kasi medyo mahaba-haba na po tong vlog ko. So, February 26, nag-email sa akin ng Gateway Bank confirming that I am already the official um, beneficiary of Miss Felicia Wilson together po the bank account login information. Ito po. So, ba? Grabe. Yung password talaga niya, it speaks of her faith to Christ, which I could really relate so much because I do that sometimes. Part of the email says that I am advised to set up a new account um, which require an initial deposit of 235 US dollars and card processing fee of $849 to activate my personal online access. Um, so, actually, I failed to review this part because I directly went on logging into her bank account. So, when I went to the website and um, input her details, shockingly, I was able to access the website. So, I took a screenshot the, the first time I logged into her bank account. So, ito po. So, as you can see, um, nandyan ang yung, yung fixed deposit at some details na kanyang mga transactions before. So, during those times po, parang na-overwhelmed na po talaga ako kasi Para sa akin, totoo talaga yun kasi na-access ko yung account niya sa Gateway Bank website. Um, so, yun, I uh, and she said to me to con to um, start with my communication with her lawyer. Kasi at that time po kasi, um, she was also scheduled for her fifth surgery. So, yun nga po, parang naawa rin ako sa situation niya. And I'm sorry po kung ganito ako mag -react. Considering po sa lahat ng sinabi niya sa akin, relay sa akin na information about her and her mission, um, I know po na some of you could really relate so much and others cannot, but you're entitled to your own opinion po. Mag-comment lang po kayo. Along with the email, she sent also a video of her singing, praying, and praising God for the success of her operation. But when I viewed the video of her singing, I didn't um, feel at peace at all. And at that time, I knew something was wrong already. Queen of the May, O oh Mary, we crown me with blossoms today. Queen of the angels and Queen of the May.
Pero despite all of this po, the communication between me and her lawyer transpired anyway. So ito po yung email ng kanyang lawyer sa akin. Hello, my name is Barster Sean Dawson. This is Felicia Wilson's attorney. I have been working for her for a few years now and I'm proud to say that we have both developed a good official relationship between us. Uh, she contacted me a few days ago that she wanted to assign you to her uh, her to her next kin while she's still alive. But she says she wants her five blah 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 the amount deposited at Gateway Bank transferred to you as her relative's name. Although I have been busy and still have a very tight schedule, she has prayed with me to create the time to attend to this matter. So I want us to have this done soon as I have made out the time for this. I would be grateful if you could send me the following details as for me to begin the documentation and processing of this work. So yan mga personal details ko. And he said, here's the bank account, uh, bank contact information. Contact them now with the certificate of deposit, which I did. I also send them my information. I know it's crazy. As soon as I receive the de these details, I will start other documentation. I have also written to the financial company and I will meet with them sometime today where things would be discussed and concluded. I believe you already have a copy of Mrs. Felicia Wilson's certificate of deposit from which she told me she sent them to you and which you would use to claim funds from the finance company. I hope to hear from you soon so the process would begin. And an, and an additional email from him says, so I'm currently in Summit, Ukraine for a summit and the bank instructed me to aid you with a channel which you can send the processing fees across to me for presentation alongside with the bank membership form. I will keep you posted if I'm able to source for any channel which the fee will be sent across to me. Thank you. So replying to the email I sent him, Barrister finally crossed the line. So ito na po talaga yung pinaka hinihintay kong um, red flag. So he was already giving me details on where and whom to send the money. So, ito na nga, um, alam naman natin po na kung nanghihingi na ng pera bago mag-proceed sa mga transactions na in-offer nila, klarong-klaro na po na talagang scam. So, yun, I still replied, Mrs. Felicia Wilson's lawyer, and because I, I wanted to offend him by saying, if you are Mrs. Felicia Wilson's lawyer, then why don't you get all these things settled? Pero, at that time, wala na po kong na-receive na reply sa kanila kasi may hint na sila na alam ko na yung masamang balak nila sa akin. When I learned na scam na, na po yun, um, binalikan ko po lahat ng mails galing kay Felicia sa lawyer niya at saka sa Gateway Bank. And when I opened po yung online bank account ni Felicia, um, ito po ang, ang nakita ko. So, suspend, sinuspend or binak nila yung account nila um, at saka yung mga mails galing sa Gateway Bank, yung may logo, um, uh, binak nila yung lahat, tinanggal nila yung mga logo for them not to be traced. Since that ex scam experience po, 3 months na po ang lumipas, but I still kept silent um, because honestly, sobrang affected ko po kasi kahit na hindi ako nag-invest financially, in-invest ko po yung emotions and trust ko. Pero ngayon na na-post ko na po itong vlog na to, uh, it means po na naka-recover na, na po ako sa nangyari. Um, I got the job that I wanted, so I decided to speak up because um, I don't want others to go through the same situation. But while I was preparing for the contents of this vlog, ito po talaga ang gumuluntang sa akin. So, nakapag-login po ako ulit sa bank account na yon. Same pa rin yung amount na ginagamit nila um, na pang sa mga tao. At what's worse po is that when I search Felicia Wilson's account on Instagram, may nakita po akong dalawang accounts na nagsasabi nga na nag-express nag na siya isang Christian at isang evangelist. So, ngayon po, i-access natin yung bank account ni Felicia gamit na mga details na binigay nila sa akin noon. Um, sinuspend na po nila ito, linak nila, pero ngayon active na naman. Ibig sabihin, um, patuloy pa rin sila sa kanilang masamang gawain. So, let's go to this website po. Um, ito pong website nila, ito po yung fake, fake gateway bank website. So, sobrang galing talaga nila. Mm. And let's use the details that they gave me before. So, yan, Felicia Wilson. At yung napaka-tricky na, I mean, napaka-anong password nila. So, yan, login natin. And, tara! Di ba po? See? Ito po yung, ano, it, dito po ako na, na, na loko. Kasi, hindi po kasi ako masyadong um, well-versed pagdating sa mga technicalities ng uh, mga database. So, ito po. Nandiyan lahat, yung, lo yung logo ng Gateway Bank, yung pangalan niya, Felicia Wilson, and yung available balance na yung 5, 5 million dollars, tsaka yung personal information, <coughs> sorry po, personal information, yan, address niya, marital status, widow, date of birth, at dito po sa side na ito, um, 
Ito, may account number, account username, signature po niya, at may mga credit cards pa. Diba? Mga logo ng MasterCard, Visa. So, 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 so parang legit talaga siya. Local Transfer International. And here po, nandito po yung mga transactions niya before. So, ewan ko talaga kung um, paano nila ito ginawa. I don't know. Ito po yung mga trans transactions nila before. So, yan. Ang dami, diba? Crude oil, natural gas, corn, bonds, and my currency converter pa dito. O, oh, see, diba? Ewan ko kung paano nila yan ginawa. Pero, ito nga po, ito yung account ni Felicia Wilson na gawa-gawa nila. So, napaka-husay po nila. So, delikado po talaga. So, sa mga nanonood po, kung may time po kayo, please share this po for this to reach Gateway Bank and all the persons concerned. Kasi kahit na fake site yung ginagamit nila, it's they're still using the name of Gateway Bank. Um, I wanted to really reach out to Gateway Bank, but I believe and I thought this would be the best way. And also with this, I can also warn other um, possible victims for this unusual scam. Moreover po, I believe that this is an international scam. Um, target talaga nila yung mga Christians. They would plan to get your trust and emotions by um, studying your profile on Instagram or possibly other social media sites um, lurking on each of your posts that you share. So to add up, this isn't about a specific um, faith at all because this could possibly happen to any Muslim, Jehovah's Witness, INC, or other not mentioned faith because their target is your faith and eventually they will rip off your pocket. That's their target. So to everyone who's watching this video, please don't forget to drop your comments or re reactions and I'll try to get back to them as soon as I can. And please don't forget to click the subscribe button and share this video because you might be saving your parent, your sisters or your brothers, your sons or your daughters, or a friend, or even your office mate. Thank you po and God bless.